for this session the objective of this session is to see uh, how to make sure that the acknowledgement requirement uh, for any material if in case you have a lot of materials in the purchase order and you would like to have an acknowledgement for all the materials and how to handle that while sending the printout to the uh, vendor if in case you have some materials then in that case what happens uh, for if in case you need uh, the acknowledgement only for certain materials then how would we uh, how would you uh, get that printed on the purchase order while sending it to the vendor that we will see uh, why acknowledgement is required acknowledgement is really really required uh, to know the advanced shipment uh, notifications so for example if in case uh, you want certain materials so you would like to know that when you will be receiving uh, how much quantity now uh, in real time how, how it happens is that if in case you have a uh, scheduling agreement in place or maybe if in case you have a quantity contract then in that case um, and you have placed a purchase order for certain quantity not all the quantity there's a possibility that it might be sent at one single shot so you would like to know for your planning purpose that how much material uh, quantity you're going to receive on what date um, you know, from uh, the safety uh, stock perspective as well because uh, the safety stock should cover up the lead plan delivery time that means I mean you know uh, how how many days the customer the vendor is going to send across the material quantity to us we need to know that within that period if you're not receiving will we be able to handle the stock so um, from this perspective it is very important at times to know the acknowledgement and so let's see how uh, we can handle that when we are sending a purchase order print to the vendor so for that let's try try creating a purchase order first and uh, as you know that the purchase order transaction code is uh, ME21N ME21N so I'm going inside okay now let me create a vendor and then press enter okay I'm just creating one material let's assume that I will pick two materials now let me create one material first and let me pick up the storage location as well triple zero one okay so now we have a purchase order all right uh, okay let me pick up some quantity one thousand now we have a purchase order so let's um we, we are going to get this purchase order for this particular material let's assume that thousand quantity all right now uh, we have a delivery schedule here okay you can see here thousand quantity on this but what if i would like i i say that i will get only 200 quantity on this date okay and then i will get around 300 quantity on say uh, 0409208 Sorry, it's 2000 and I just want 300. So you can see here that you have two different schedule lines which are there uh, but then at the same time here the total quantity is 500 kgs and um, uh, if you have uh, two different uh, dates when it will be coming up so how would you do that um, you need an acknowledgement that okay boss uh, we would like to know when this material will be sent across so advanced shipping notification something is something what we would like to know in this case but if in case you're sending across a uh, when purchase order print hard copy to the vendor so it should definitely be mentioned that boss we need an acknowledgement for this particular material all right so how would you do that now let's have a print preview first so you can see here we we are not having anything here like here we have only the material number we have the pricing we have the total quantity spread over the following delivery dates that 200 kg is on this date and 300 kg is on this date um, but then there is nowhere it is mentioning about the acknowledgement all right so let's go back and let's have the uh, acknowledgement so for that you can see here acknowledgement required so click on this we are going to need an acknowledgement for this particular confirmation so now let's go to the print preview and now you can see here on the header you have got one particular line added we require an order acknowledgement for the following items all right now let's assume that you have two different materials okay i have one more material 
let's assume let me copy this just okay r0102 i don't need So it's all done now. I uh, okay. We have taken 500 quantity for this as well. Now let's see what is the uh, differentiation in the print preview. But before that, let us see that what is the confirmation here. Here we do not have an acknowledgement required uh, checked for the line item number two. For line item number one, we have got an acknowledgement required, and for line item two, we do not have. So in this case, how the print will work? You can see here. Now on the header level, you do not see anything like we require an acknowledgement. So you can see here, we require an acknowledge order acknowledgement for this item. At the item level, you have got one line printed. Now usually the uh, print preview, the uh, forms for the purchase order prints and other stuff, it will be uh, custom custom based forms. It will be designed uh, internally. So this is something like a standard one. So I just wanted you to show how it will be differentiated. Now here at the line item two, you can see there is nothing where it is mentioned that boss, we require an acknowledgement for this particular item. But what will happen if in case all of these line items, they need the acknowledgement. So I'm at line item two right now. And let me see that acknowledgement required. So what happens then? Then in that case, my expectation is that it should talk about the order acknowledgement at the header level. So you can see here again at stocking we require an order acknowledgement for the following items so these these are very important things like your purchase order in, in your purchase order if in case you really need an acknowledgement it has to be printed on the uh, hard copy that needs that goes back to the um, or the print that goes back to the vendor so that they can send across an order acknowledgement uh, for that particular material or for that particular purchase order all right thank you for watching this video have a great day if you like this video uh, please hit like and if in case uh, you like this video as well then in that case do hit the subscribe button as well and share it thank you so much